What's up, guys? Teddy Cornwell here. Welcome to the Underdog Talk. Something about the Underdog. I mean, today we have one of the minds behind Alpha Line Supplements on the show. But before we get into this interview, you guys know I have to give this man's brand a proper Underdog Talk introduction. Today's brand won the 2019 Fitness Informant Shield of Excellence Supplement Award for Breakout Brand of the Year. That was a throwback. Forgot that about was that. a throwback. And this is another throwback, Bodybuilding.com's Breakout Brand of the Year in 2020. The cornerstone of this brand is Kaizen, the Japanese principle of continuous self-improvement, which tells you something about this brand. And finally, a brand that just took over GNC by storm and is not looking back. I am proud and honored to present Alpha Lion Supplements with co-owner Troy Addison. What is up, sir? How are you? And I know I just butchered your last name. We were just going over that. Addison. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I Lithuanian. I, I love it. I love it. But what is up, man? How are you doing today? Man, I'm doing good. Happy to be here. I've always considered myself a little bit of an underdog. Used to play a lot of sports, so love what the podcast is about. So let's dive into it. Hell yeah. And I mean, before we get into this interview, Troy, I mean, I'm a little hurt that I didn't get an invite to uh, Alpha Lion's fifth annual birthday party in Las Vegas because, man, that looked fun as hell. And, and Troy, I got to ask, were unlimited food and drink on Alpha Lion in Las Vegas? It was. It was it was quite the dinner bill. So it was a fun time. You know, we did the superhuman games on Thursday, which was we're trying to position it as sort of like the most athletic fitness influencer. So it was a cool event. It was like max pull ups, 185 bench, max reps, vertical jump contests and a foot race. So it was a really fun time. And, and Troy, I actually saw you were beating the youngins. So well That's done on that. Um, what's funny is no one predicted me to win beforehand. Everyone was picking Hottie. Some people were picking Alex. Andre was a popular pick. So dude has like a world-class physique, but happy to take home the championship belt. Hey, Troy, like they say, something about the underdog, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Troy, I want to start from the start of Alpha Lion. I mean, it has a very unique start and I've talked with many supplement brands. Yep. I can't say I've seen a brand start like this. I mean, with you and your business partner, Jordan, um, so you met your business partner, Jordan, three times in person before starting Alpha Lion. So first, how did you meet Jordan in the first place? And then how did the idea of a supplement company come to be? Yeah, great question. So we were both involved in the fitness industry as well as internet marketing. So I did a lot of freelance work. I wrote for a bunch of popular fitness blogs back in the day, just like when I was in college trying to make extra money, all that good stuff. Um, Jordan had experience running several different like online e-commerce brands. He was working with a big fitness influencer at the time. So we met actually because he posted a job and they're looking for like a, a fitness expert or a face to be like kind of a face of a product. And we just kind of like hit it off right away. And we started talking about the fitness industry as a whole. And I was talking about like the YouTube channel I had just started. And it was sort of like this, uh, just like two mutually uh, like aligned skill sets. So we just kind of like instantly hit it off. And we started talking business almost every single day. And Alpha Lion just sort of was born organically just from chatting every day about business. And we both had some failures under our belt as entrepreneurs. And um, yeah, it just kind of happened, you know. And, and one thing that I like about, you know, you and Jordan, you're open about your failures because you use those to learn. And you actually, you know, believe it or not, people look at your mistakes and kind of not do them. But I think I love how open you are about your mistakes because mistakes do make us who we are today. Um, so something that's interesting to me is you're based in California and then Jordan's based in Australia. Uh, right. And you talk about how hard at first, you know, it was being three uh, 3,000 miles apart. I mean, would you mind talking about what kept you going? Because, you know, many people would have quit on something like that in this situation. Right. Yeah, so we have a very unique relationship. And I would say even though we're thousands of miles apart for the duration of having this brand, 
we communicate seven days a week. Like I'm talking literally over the past five years, there might be five to 10 total days, including holidays that we haven't had some form of communication, either on WhatsApp, on Skype way back in the day. That was like five years ago we communicated um, on the company's Slack channel now. So like we have great communication. We've always known exactly what each person was responsible for. And we just both had really good work ethic. So it just worked out because like if, for example, he didn't have a work ethic or I didn't and like I was doing a bunch of other projects and so was he, it wouldn't have worked out. So we're both really passionate about building Elfline and what the brand was about. And I think how it survived is just exceptional communication. And when we do chat every day for, you know, an hour or two about different things, it's like mostly all about business. So I do feel if you're together too much, it can turn into like this friendship, which is great. Like you want to be friends and really get along with your business partners, but you can waste a lot of time as well. So I feel like we've been incredibly efficient because almost all of our conversations are just moving the business forward. Uh, I totally agree. I mean, move your business for you did, Troy, as after the first year, you guys worked your ass off. Everything starts to come in play. Alpha mm -hmm. Line, it's a throwback, wins the 2019, you know, Fitness Informant Shield of Excellence Supplement Award for Breakout Brand of the Year. You know, yes. following that up with Bodybuilding.com Breakout Brand of the Year. So you're turning heads. So right. when did you realize that this brand, Alpha Line, you know, was actually going somewhere and that it had potential? Yeah, great question. I kind of think, well, I'm just thinking back, I think when bodybuilding.com, when like we hit bodybuilding.com, we had a lot of early traction. They said we were one of the top selling brands that's ever like launched on their site in the first month or two. So it was crazy because when I first started in the fitness industry, working out bodybuilding.com, that was like the site. Yeah. It's like, I remember going on bodybuilding.com and like the T Nation forums and like simply shredded.com. And that's where I got all my info from. So it was crazy that all of a sudden now uh, the site that I used to reference when I started my fitness journey, all of a sudden we, we had our own brand on there and we were really successful in winning awards on it. So I think that was when I kind of realized that we had something with Elfline and the name Superhuman and I guess the rest is history, you know? And I mean, the rest is history. I mean, our guy, Chris Gethin was just on last weekend and he, he was a big part of bodybuilding.com, told us the whole story, bodybuilding.com, you know, it was a staple in the fitness industry of promoting the top products. And there is a reason that Alpha Line is on there. And I mean, I want to fast forward because today, you know, modern day, you are now in General Nutrition Center. And how, I got to ask, how big of a step was that? And then what was the process of getting into such a big retailer like? Yeah, so great question. I guess, you know, about a year or two ago, we weren't quite ready to be in a large retail store like that. A lot of it just happened just by increasing demand. Obviously, we're working with a lot of athletes and influencers now. A lot more people recognize our brand from the success on bodybuilding.com. Um, you know, we're really good at running paid ads as well. So, you know, just finding us through social media, through ads, through the athletes, through bodybuilding.com, there is a lot of demand for our brand inside the store. There's a lot of people walking into GNC asking where our brand was. So it was just the right timing. If we did it a year or two ago, it probably wouldn't have been the right timing, but you know, they kind of, um, you know, they were actually approaching us for a while as well. So it was one of those things where we knew it was time and, you know, we just started entering talks and now we're in a little over 350 plus franchise stores. We should be rolling out in another hundred plus stores soon. And I can't reveal the exact details, uh, but we are working on a pretty interesting play to be in every single GNC store. And that would align us with one of the most iconic athletes of all time. So we're still working on, I can't reveal who it is and what the exact details are, but that is something that I hope to uh, finalize here in the next month or two. Hell yeah. And I mean, Troy, I hope to see you in GNCs across the country because it, so you're not in corporate GNCs yet. Correct. Not in corporate yet. We are in talks with corporate. So yeah, that's kind of like the next logical step. I think that would be a huge step for you. Nothing, no knock on franchises, GNCs, but corporate that extra step up because corporate does so many corporate gncs are so popular and getting that extra step would be would be huge now this brand has literally blossomed over the years but troy i've got to ask what is next for alpha line you know besides this gnc obviously you just got one of the hottest influencers in the industry alex eubank as an athlete but where do you see alpha line down the line 
Yep. First of all, shout out Alex Eubank, second place in the Superhuman Games. <laughs> Had to get that in. Um, actually, second place tied with Andre Ferguson in the Superhuman Games. So we had we had a two way tie. But in terms of the future of Alpha Lion, I'm really excited about some product development stuff that we're working on because it's different than anything out there. So we do want to enter like the functional food space. There's a few other projects. If I give you too many details, it'll definitely give away what the actual product is. But we are working on some really exciting things in product development um, that I think will take a lot of our innovative ingredients and put them in new platforms. And at the end of the day, it's like you as a consumer, you want to actually enjoy what you're drinking, what you're eating. And it's like if you can get a benefit out of it as well, that's obviously the ultimate. So we d definitely have some exciting things up our sleeve with product development. I love that. I'm really excited to see where this brand takes off. I've been following it for a minute. And I love each new step that you guys are coming out with. They're truly revolutionary products that you guys have and the flavors are phenomenal. Now, something that I also love about your brand, you know, is that you have core values that Troy, I'm going to say you have not faltered or changed from the start. And one in particular, uh, the cornerstone of Alpha Line, as I mentioned, and that is the Japanese phrase Kaizen. Uh, would you mind talking about what that is and then why is it so important to your brand? And I yeah. probably heard that too somehow. Yeah, I love I love the word kaizen. I feel like it's an underrated word. No one really like tosses it around or knows what it means. So the word kaizen essentially means constant improvement. So it's kind of like whatever you set out to be good at, having the mentality that you're going to get a little bit better at that every single day. It's actually very similar to the whole mamba mentality thing when you really read about like what that stood for. It's kind of like we all have unique gifts in this world. We all have things that we're naturally a little more skilled at. So it's like figuring out what those things are and then constantly improving them to be as good as you could possibly be. I, I love that mindset, you know, be hungrier than the day before. And I think that's so important in the fitness industry, you know, just in general with people uh, comparing themselves to others. And I think yeah. compare yourself to the day before and be better than the day before. That's how you win in the fitness For industry. Sure end in life now i mean troy you really have seen it all in terms of mistakes made learning experiences um so what is your biggest tip after all you've been through and now you have a successful company in alpha line what is your biggest tip for someone looking to start their own company and it doesn't have to be a supplement company just a company in general yeah i would say the ability to be self-aware and like know when you have enough skills to actually pull it off. And that's, I don't know if it's something that you can teach, but I do feel like timing is everything because if you're not ready, like if you're just flat out clueless, like how to start a business, like who would your first three to five employees be, product development, like if you have zero clue on accounting and cash flow forecasting and all these like, you know, quote unquote, boring things that are the most important things about business, like definitely be self aware enough to know that you probably aren't ready yet. And that's fine, because nobody knows until they know. So it's like spend a couple of years, like find that right mentor, find like interview people who've done it. And like, I didn't if I tried to start Alpha Line, like if Jordan and myself started Alpha Line five years before we did, it probably wouldn't have gone anywhere because we didn't have the experience under our belt. So I do believe being self aware enough to know when the timing is right is really important. And as friend of the show, Ryan Lochte told me, mm -hmm. have short term, long term goals. Hey, listen to a coach, listen to someone who's been there because, like Ryan told me, most of the time they've made those mistakes and they can help you not make those mistakes and grow as a person. So I love, I love that mindset that you bring, Troy, because you have really been through it uh, and you've come out successful. So congratulations on that. And now, Troy, I was thinking during this whole thing, I, you know, a game-changing thing would be an Alpha Line RTD. And you don't have to say anything, but wow, would that change the industry and shake it up a little bit? We, we did it. I'll actually, we can talk about this because we posted about this a couple months ago on our Instagram. So we are working on an RTD and we've been in development for, a considerable amount of months. I don't have an exact launch date, but it definitely will be this year. So it's Ooh. pretty clear. We're sampling. I was out in uh, Salt Lake City with Drew Peters, our VP of Science, and a few of the other Outline team members. And we literally sampled 
I don't know how many milligrams of caffeine I had, not something I want to do again, but we literally sampled, I think about 50 flavors over the course of a couple of days. So uh, superhuman RTD, 100% will be happening. Uh, let's go. I, I freaking love it. And I mean, RTDs are a game changer in this industry as we had Nick Stella and Ryan Gardner both talk about how RTDs are so key for this fitness industry as it allows people, you know, not just from the fitness industry to experience your product experience what it feels like to be an alpha lion uh like troy in this brand so i love where it's going i love what this brand is doing i'm so excited to see it my gnc and be able to you know promote this product uh i mean we are talking with one of the minds behind alpha lion a top bodybuilding influencer now troy it has been such an honor but before we end this interview i like to get my guests out of here with some uh rapid fire questions are you down Let's do it. Favorite Alpha Lion product? I'll go superhuman pre-workout Miami Vice flavor. Oh, and he got the flavor too. I love the specific aspect of that. I mean, that superhuman protein in the orange creamsicle flavor. Whew. Yeah, it's a good flavor. Not a lot of people love orange creamsicle flavor. Like most people go for chocolate, vanilla, peanut butter is a huge one, but don't sleep on orange creamsicle. Hey, never sleep on the orange creamsicle, baby. No superhuman pump for a year or no superhuman pre for a year? Man, if I did no superhuman pre for a year, I would probably go back to perfect adrenal glands. So potentially that one, but man, it would not be fun. I do love my caffeine. <laughs> I do too. And I think there's only been one person who said neither. And that weirdly was Chris Gethin where he said he doesn't need either. I Chris Gethin's a man of many talents, so I guess not having caffeine is one of his talents. All right, the last three are going to be the big ones on this show. All right. Have to do a pose-off against Alex Eubanks or have to skydive? I mean, I'm going to go the pose-off all day because I'm oh. not going to play. I won't die if I do a pose-off with Alex Eubanks. There is a one in a million shot that, you know, that parachute might not work, so that's an easy one. That, that's fair. And I mean, to add it, you would be on stage in front of a lot of people. But honestly, Troy, I, I, I would put my money on you. I think, I think it would be a good little pose off. So I would love to see that hypothetically. And maybe it's already happened. Who knows? I'm getting pretty shredded. Give me like 30 more days. I don't, I don't have the vacuum pose like him on point. But as long as we stay away from that pose, I think I got a shot. I'll give it to Alex. He does hit the vacuum pose. Probably like I haven't seen anyone in the industry. That's yeah, his pretty pose. crazy. That's his pose. I need to meet up with that guy soon. Uh, talk like Rocky for the rest of your life or have to box Rocky Balboa in his prime. I'm a box Rocky in his prime. I love a challenge. That's actually the direction I want to take a lot of my YouTube content is actually I want to challenge like pro athletes and like big fitness YouTubers and influencers. So that's something I got up my sleeve the last couple quarters of the year. Wow. I mean, I can just throw some names where I'd love to see you do it. We had Branch Warren on the show. Now, shout out Branch, one of the, the realest dudes out there. I'd love to see a competition against Branch Warren because that dude, he's a hungry motherfucker. And yeah. Troy, you are hungry motherfucker. So that would be an amazing combo. Uh, wow. You got my mind spinning now, man. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the aspect of combining like – uh, at like athletic stuff with bodybuilding. So for example, I would want to challenge like bodybuilders in different athletic events. Mm. And I would want to challenge like, you know, athletes in different bodybuilding and athletic events, like an NFL safety, maybe an NBA player. So I think it's really interesting content and there's hardly anyone in the world doing it. Hey, Troy, let, it, let me know if you need some NFL players. You know, I got some, I'm some, I'm good friends with some NFL players, Tim Boyle. Hey, if you need a quarterback to go against, Hey, Absolutely. hit me up. I'll make it happen. But yeah, sure. last one is a big one on this show, and it's going to just decide who you are, Troy, in the underdog talk eyes. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Hmm. There's only one right answer, boss. I'm going to go chin-ups. Hit, they hit the biceps, too. <laughs> okay. I, was, I mean, pull-ups is the correct answer just because it is harder, and it's – but – if you're looking for a bicep workout and you want to get big biceps like Troy, all right, chin-ups will be the correct answer. I'll my, give mind, 
my biceps are, are more legging, you know, my back is a little bit more developed than my biceps. So, you know, I feel like if I hit a close grip chin up, I can kind of hit, you know, the lats, hit the biceps. But hey, I took second place in the max pull-ups in the Superhuman Games, 25 pull-ups in a row. Andre hit 26, but, you know, he's Andre. That, that is true. That dude's an absolute beast. I mean, that's 25, 24 more than me. So, I mean, Troy, you're running up on me, so I can't. You got to cut your sleeve. Who am I to judge? But Troy, it has been such an honor and privilege. Before we go, is there anything you want to plug? Where can we find Alpha Line? Uh, where can we find your content? You're on bodybuilding.com. You're on YouTube. Where can we find all this stuff? Yeah, for sure. So obviously, alphaline.com, best place to grab Alphaline supplements. Uh, check your local GNC if they don't have it. Tell them to pick it up. Uh, we're also on Amazon if you want some speedy, fast delivery. Uh, you know, a lot of the products are on Amazon Prime. And then the best place to find me is I'm simply Troy Addison on YouTube. That's like my most popular platform. Also Troy Addison on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. So easy to find my content. Hell yeah. I mean, guys, go check out Alpha Lion, please. If you first person to buy an Alpha Lion product will get a signature from one of the legendary guests that we've had on this show, send me a DM, make it happen. Get this brand's popularity. And if you're if you're at a GNC and you do not hit see an alpha line, hey, do your thing. Get GNC on the line. Get Troy on the line. Get those alpha line products in the damn, you know, store. I mean, okay. I'm talking with the CEO, head honcho, and co-owner of Alpha Line. But guys, it's been an honor. I mean, that talk of that orange cream skull made me hungry as hell. Uh, so I'm about to go kill some egg whites, egg okay. yolks. The whole nine, but until next time, guys, underdog out. Awesome. Thanks, guys.